Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Kira speaking once again to let you know this time that it's not a game anymore. Especially not for Mr. Chris Madaf in danger from YouTube. He has been wrestling, well, training to be a professional wrestler for the past year. He's shown us many videos. He made a documentary, which is awesome, very inspiring for a YouTuber. Uh, such as myself, who's been doing YouTube in Turkish for, you know, the, on the topic of professional wrestling, professional wrestling games. I did a bunch of my career. So, like, um, I have a lot of parallels with Chris Danger. So watching his journey, whether it's only about YouTube, him trying to find his voice um, as a professional, not a professional wrestler, but as a, you know, YouTuber where like he loved wrestling but there was a lot of times where he tried to branch out to do other things like nba or other fighting games some were successful some were not he you know expressed his uh, you know frustration of only being able to play wwe 2k games because they run out of content after one week and all of those things i felt deep inside me as well because again i went through the same rows obviously the our success it's not comparable at all he's one of the best the biggest to ever do it and more power to him he works really hard and he seems to be a from what i've seen um, throughout the years i've been watching him for far too long <laughs> that sounded kind of creepy but you get you get what i mean you probably you probably did the same thing you've been watching him for years and years you freaking creep anyways um all jokes aside he seems like a you know all around great guy so usually when people say that it's, it's sarcastic but i think it couldn't have happened to a better guy what happened to chris danger in his first match now obviously if you've seen the pictures it is very gnarly um it is a cut and it happened i think when he tried to go for that spear to the corner to the table now let me put this make this really clearly he was supposed to uh, face adam cole which he ended up not being able to because adam cole got injured now he's growing a, a tick ass beard hopefully um when he comes back he's even better than he was before and maybe he'll be able to face uh, chris danger down the line at dpw or even maybe i mean AEW. not saying because i like the guy but i mean if i was tony khan tony if you're looking listening to this video i know i know you're watching this video i would hire chris danger just to let you know they got logan paul right scamming people over there kind of not the greatest person in real life and then you got chris danger they're both i think pretty good at wrestling from what i've saw at least i know for a fact that chris danger loves this shit more than anybody else in the world he can cut a promo uh on saturday because we can't see the match yet unless you went there live if you did tell me down in the description not in the description that would be you don't have access to my channel comment section tell me how the match was i really want to know like was it good give us some details i would love that we're gonna look at twitter look at some of the pictures too by the way so stay tuned for that uh, but yeah tony khan i'm talking to you again they got wwe wwe got logan paul um a youtuber right but you got Chris Danger, another YouTuber who loves professional wrestling and who is much more knowledgeable and who lives and breathes for this shit more than Logan Paul currently. Although he's saying he's going to go full time, but yeah. I can't deny how good Logan Paul is either. Like, I mean, we can talk about his interesting persona for, for a long while. And yeah, lots of negative things to say are, um, on that. But when, when it comes to professional wrestling, only the bubble of professional wrestling got to give the man his due. But you get what I mean. You know what I mean? Like it'd, be, it'd be a great answer <laughs> to, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just making stuff up. It just makes me excited to see he, uh, Chris Danger, that is, take his first step to becoming an actual pro wrestler after seeing his uh, My Career videos for so long now. I, yeah, let's just, let's just see some of the pictures. But all of the things I've said, I think you... My friend, whoever you are, I think you feel the same way that I do. You feel the same fuzziness uh, that I do when once you once you see those videos on Instagram, those pictures on X, whatever. And then, hey, man, my boy made it. My boy made it, and more power to him. It's just ah, uh, it's it makes me happy. And again, it's a big part of me. In why, 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 why I return to. Ah, professional wrestling training as well, but I'm not going to get too into it. I want a couple of months to get by, and if I see I'm putting in the work and I'm staying consistent and I'm actually making something of myself this time, then I think I'm going to make videos about that in this channel as well, let you know how my journey is going, what I'm going through. But anyways, I mean, check this shit out. How cool does this look? I mean, um, DPW in general, 
it does an awesome job and they've got like four of their people that were reached out by the WWE, the big guys, you know. One is Jay Malachi, which they've been pushing pretty heavily. He became the World Heavyweight Champion. So it's no wonder. Like, I watched a couple of matches. I've not been following DPW, I'll be honest. Uh, as closely as I did in the beginning, you know, life happened. But it's great that, yeah, like, they're, they're pushing through. They're getting better each and every day. And it's awesome to see. It's awesome to see. And honestly, the first time I went through wrestling training, which was in Germany, WXW Wrestling Academy, um, the same reason <laughs> applied to me with Chris Danger. Like, Chris loved wrestling. He did, you know, YouTube content. But with DPW, he actually got to step into a wrestling ring as a manager, maybe, to cut, you know, some sort of promos. He got to be around the wrestling bubble, actual wrestling bubble, where you took bumps that takes all the breath of you <laughs> out of you. Anyways, like once you actually feel the crowd, was become a part of the show, whether you're a commentator, whether you mess with the music, whatever you do, once you're there live and you see, oh, shit, like it's totally possible for me to walk through those ropes and become an actual wrestler like sure it's gonna take a lot of work but it is possible it's not impossible for most of us it's just a dream in the back of our heads uh, feeling impossible but no so once you see that once you know that the slightest possibility exists you get bitten by that bug that wrestling bug and you start to wonder same thing happened to me. That's uh, like we did amateur wrestling, professional wrestling shows in Turkey. At the end, like cops came and like stopped our latest show. And it was like after that, <laughs> it's a whole story. But after that, we decided to not to do it anymore. But back, yeah, before that, I was like, YouTube, I love YouTube. I'm going to just do pro wrestling content on YouTube. And when we did those amateur shows, I was like, holy fuck, I got to wrestle. Excuse my language. I just get excited when I talk about this shit. Um... So yeah, that's how I ended up stepping into the ring and taking my first bump and regretting, regretting it completely because, again, I just died. But after that, I did more and more. I went to WXW, found myself here in uh, the land of Maple Leafs. Now I'm um, going to Super Kick Wrestling again. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm just excited and I'm just looking to have fun and become the best wrestler in the world. But... That's the last thing I want to do right now. The first thing I want to do is just constantly train, consistently train, as a matter of fact. Becoming the best, it will come later. That's, anyways, like I said, it's just, I have so many parallels with, with Chris Danger. So, that, I mean, I can talk about this forever, but look at the attire straight from the WWE YouTube videos and love the design. I always love the color scheme anyways, like black, white, and red. Looks freaking premium stuff right here whoever um, brought this design to real life you know shout out to them this was i think designed by uh, chris danger's like longtime followers on youtube for his actual wrestler again i just seen it in real life it's insane i'm not gonna show the scar picture i'm sure you've seen it going around already at this point i'm a little late at the party or to the party um, but i think saturday if i get to be able to watch the match uh, I'll do a reaction on it. I, I'll like quickly give my thoughts on it. So stay tuned for that if you like subscribe. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, let's see. There is Jacket Off <laughs> in the actual show. Uh, like I haven't watched DPW in a hot minute. Like I said, this is this is gonna make me return and try to check out what's up. One criticism, uh, Chris, if you're watching this, uh, you made a bunch of posts about yourself, and all of them are awesome, but. Somewhere over here, I would love, like, hashtag DPW World's Strongest. Because, like, I've been trying to remember for the longest time, like, what the hell was the pay-per-view he's going to wrestle in? World's Strongest, World's Strongest. I don't know. I don't even know if that's, like, a legit criticism. But it'd be cool. It'd be cool to, like, let us know. Because, like, when I look at this as a fan, like, as anybody would, the first thing I'm saying, like, holy shit, where can I see this? Where can I actually watch this full match? So, anyhow. Well, look at that, man. Look at that. Again, DPW with the production quality. Love the fact that we got this uh, orange background going on. It gives it so much um, yeah, character. It's very distinct. But yeah, his gear in general, the way he's been getting in shape, it's been one year since he started working out. So I'm looking forward to year two where he continues to work out because he's looking shredded as it is already. Yeah, like... <laughs> So good, you know what I mean. He's he's got the discipline. So I just expect nothing but greatness from Mr. Danger from here on out. You better deliver. You better become the best wrestler that you can be. Because yeah, we'll be behind you. We'll be behind you, Mr. Danker. 
I mean, I love the knee pads as well. The one thing I'm going to snarkle at a little bit is his um, kick pads, because that's straight up <laughs> Finn Balor's kick pads, right? Like, how did he not get uh, copyrighted from those? Like, I know this because I use them in my creator character a whole bunch of times as well in WWE 2K games. But yeah, still, besides that fact, it, it still looks awesome. But god damn, put yourself in this man's head right now. Like, imagine what he's going through right now. Like, one year of hard work. And when you think about it, it's eight years building up to this moment, perhaps. Because he always wanted to do this in the back of his head. But never gave it a real chance. But last year, he said, fuck it, I'm going to try. And moment of truth. Presumably, after this photo was taken, just a couple of hours after this. He had to go out there and put himself through war true huge battle here is another beautiful well low quality shot but beautiful still uh, i'm not going to show his injury like i said so if you want to see it or, or seek it out you can you can go ahead and find it yourselves uh, but yeah can't wait to see this in hd i want to see his theme song here is theme song that is here the reaction of the people i just want to see the entire match because again i know we're different um, in many ways, but I see I see a lot of myself and what I had to go through, you know, maybe a smaller scale or a different scale in, in myself. So, yeah, it gets me a little, uh, it gets me a little emotional. It got, um, Brandon does everything emotional as well. Like he, he said on Twitter, I want to wrestle too. This man's making me wrestle too. Hey, like I said, that's how it starts. You, you be around the ring. You, especially when you see your friends doing it to my earlier point if you see your friends doing it going in there taking those bumps hearing the reaction from the crowd like holy shit they're actually doing it hey why can't i not do it what what's stopping me right at this point if you're brandon does everything you can like purchase the united states of america right you have that much money <laughs> i'm not sure i'm not sure but like you have the opportunity to be able to de like devote your entire life to that and whether you want to do it, obviously that's um, a personal choice. But Brandon, I don't know, man. I'm just sending this message to the universe. If you're not saying that like jokingly, when you have zero intention of actually wrestling, but you're just saying that as a joke, whatever. But if you have that inkling of a feeling that you actually want to do this, give it a try. At least give it a try for a month. Take a couple of bumps, see how it feels. Because I don't know. Then it's your dream, right? It's your dream, and uh, it'd be cruel to not go after your dream because if you if you go through you after your dream, no matter what ends up happening, you feel free. You feel happier than you'll ever be. DJ Kero, <laughs> MC Kero, whatever. So there's his um, flyer or whatever before the day of his match, and again, I think we're gonna be able to watch it um, digitally this Saturday. If I'm mistaken, anybody who knows this shit, let me know down in the comment section. I'll pin it. Uh, but yeah. Look, man, I can talk about this for 10,000 years, honestly. But the video is already 30 minutes, so I'm just going to show you the full match card because there's some pretty sick matches here. Um, Colby Carino versus Lucky Ali. Lucky Ali, I loved them in the first few episodes that I watched very intently. I did some uh, reviews of them. It should be on this channel. You can <laughs> maybe find them. Uh, yeah, Colby Carino, I know that he's become like the gatekeeper or like a very, very big part of DPW. So it's an interesting match right there. We got Masoto Tanaka for some reason, uh, Brian Keith, uh, Kaylin Tankman. Oh, Mr. Tankman is there. Okay, cool. I like him too. The filthy Tom Lawler is hanging out for no reason. West Coast Wrecking Crew. I mean, like, you see, DPW is just uh, making the moves. We got Jake something, which, um, you know, training in super kick wrestling. Someone I know. <laughs> well, not personally, but I've seen. I've seen a lot of him, and basically. Um, Balianaki. Versus LeBron, Kazon, I think Balian is from, oh god, from that Jap Japanese promotion. The same one with Emi Sakura. I forget their name. Um, I apologize. I am sorry. Uh, Emi Sakura and Masha Slamovich. She's been someone I've been seeing on social media a lot now. I've been, uh, I know Kel Killer Kelly for a while. Um, I've seen her work. And I think they're tag team partners now. So that's how I'm starting to see a lot of Slamovich. And it's going to be interesting, actually. I think I'm going to end up watching this entire preview, not just, you know, uh, Chris Danger. I got Jay Malachi, which him alone sells this match. Alec Price, 
Honestly, I've never watched him, so maybe he's the greatest wrestler ever, and I'm going to be introduced to him through this. Uh, is this a pay-per-view? Could we call this a pay-per-view? <clears throat> and then, last but not least, we got Work Horseman versus The Freed. Finally, able to do what they do best, grizzled young veterans. I still don't know, like, have zero idea why WWE tried to change these guys. It's, it's a... LA Knight situation that went wrong, right? Because LA Knight, if they didn't change him to Maxine Dupree or Max Dupree or whatever, he would have been over way sooner. But he was able to change back to LA Knight, to his original self, and get himself over. The Grizzle Young veterans, unfortunately, they couldn't do it for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't have the opportunity. But I wish, just like LA Knight did, they were able to go back to their original gimmick as the Grizzled Young Veterans. And you just had to just like put them on TV. That's literally it. Put these guys on TV. Don't give them a script. Don't give them, don't even give them a match. And just close your eyes, sleep. Ratings. This guys, these guys would have killed it. I have no idea. I have no idea. But yeah, uh, glad to see that they are not demotivated by this and they're going even stronger than they ever did anyways anyways okay that'll be all for this video uh, i'm happy i'm happy man dpw making the moves world's strongest there it is uh let's see okay before i go let's see when we can watch this if you wanna ladies and gentlemen i stand corrected i'm happy to be corrected uh so as you can read here yada 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 premieres live on tape delay on november 18th which is this saturday uh yeah, I appreciate you if you watched through all of my bambling, man. I really appreciate you, you know, watching till here. And hey, if you want to see me bamble with my friends about professional wrestling, all of all the fellows there are super, super passionate. Um, check out, come check out. It's the, 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 the WGC Wrestling Podcast because we didn't have a name before. We just got our name, name like we're, we're calling ourselves off the top. But I think the podcast name will be WGC, so I got a little confused. But yeah, come check us out there. We're going to talk about everything. We're probably going to talk about this. Maybe we'll talk about um, SmackDown, Raw, all the crazy stuff happening in wrestling in general. So link will be down in the description. Come check out the WGC podcast. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.